All right, hey guys, this is the third part of my uh, dream journal series. I don't know if you guys remember, I made this about one or two years ago and I just never finished it off. So now we're gonna finish it off, okay? This is how to keep a lucid dream journal, how to, how to write your dreams down in a way that you can remember them later and in a way that will help you to lucid dream more in the future. So in the first video I talked about, you know, why it's important to have a dream journal, why you should write your dreams down and, you know, how it all works. In the second video I explained, you know, what to expect and how to write things in the journal. So this, this included things like, for example, highlighting important parts of the dream, writing down things like which technique you used and uh, making sure that you write in, in the journal every single morning. In this video, in part three, we're going to be talking about how you can make the whole process faster and more effective, how you can use a digital dream journal, okay? And this is something that is very, not advanced, but it's a very effective thing to do, especially if you want to have more lucid dreams, because you can search for dream signs. We'll get onto that in a minute anyway. And also how you can, you know, make this whole process more fun. Because at the end of the day, writing your dreams down every single morning it can seem a bit daunting and you can get a bit bored of the whole idea which is why there are a lot of videos and a lot of articles especially on reddit where people are saying is there any way of lucid dreaming without having to write my dreams down because i'm bored i'm bored of the process i don't like writing my dreams down okay so firstly let me just let's just get right into it okay so firstly to make the dream journal more effective there are a few things you can do. Firstly, make sure you keep it by your bed at all times. Make sure that you have a good light source near the dream journal, but not one that's going to wake you up and, you know, flood your light with uh, flood your eyes, sorry, with blue light. You want to have like an ambient soft glow light. So, for example, let me just show you the the light I use for my when I write in my dream journal. This. And this this is a Himalayan salt lamp, okay? So, if I just turn this on now, you'll notice that it's a really soft glowing light and this shines onto my night table here. The Himalayan salt lamp that I use is good because it doesn't flood my eyes and it doesn't flood the room with really bright harsh light. It's just enough to be able to see what you're writing and see what you're doing. And that's the important thing here, you just want to see what you're writing. Secondly, make sure that the dream journal has enough space to write. So for example if you have a, a tiny tiny dream journal like the size of a phone that's going to be awkward to write in especially in the morning or especially if you're tired so i like to have at least an a4 sized dream journal like a full full page so just so that there's enough space so that if you if you can't really see what you're doing or if you're not really awake enough to realize what you're doing you can scroll things and they'll still be legible and usable later you can try things like giving yourself small rewards every time you write in the journal this is positive reinforcement you can for example have a box of chocolates next to your bed and every time you write in the journal in the morning you have a chocolate or something else that you enjoy, I don't know, a sweet Haribo. So that's how you, you know, improve the process of writing in the dream journal in the mornings. Now, talking about making your dream journal digital. Now this is something that I wouldn't recommend to do straight away, but as soon as you have, I would say, a one to two months worth of dreams written down in your journal, it's going to be time to start writing them in a laptop or, you know, on your phone. The key here is to make a document, okay, a searchable document. So if you have a Mac, for example, open a Pages document. If you have a Windows computer, open a Microsoft Word document. And you're going to make the journal entries searchable. So in each journal entry, you're going to firstly write the date, obviously. Then you're going to write the title of the dream. So that's going to be a, just a short description of what the dream is about. Okay, this is really important, so don't just write dream number 8002, write for example the one with, just like the Friends episodes that used to be on TV, the one with the horse, or you know, the one where you walked to the market, something that can help you describe it later, so that when you're looking back on the dream journal, if you want to suddenly go to a dream where you were dreaming about a horse, you just have to type into the dream journal horse, and all of those dreams will come up for you. And it'll be, you know, it'll highlight the dream signs so you can easily see them. This will not only help you recognize your dream signs, reoccurring themes, but it will also help you search for dreams that you maybe were reminded of. Or if you had a dream recently about something and you think, you know what, I remember a dream about that before, but I just can't remember when it was. You don't need to remember when. It could have been five years ago. Just type it into your dream journal on your computer. It will come, it will bring it up instantly within seconds and you'll be able to read it. 
So that's why it's important to keep a digital dream journal. What I would suggest to do is write your dreams down in the normal dream, dream journal every morning and then every week write it up on your laptop into the document. You don't have to do this every day unless you want to, and, you know, it takes a bit of time. Or, you know, if you do have a laptop with, that can go right down with uh, almost no light or zero light, then you could just type it on your laptop in the morning anyway. I find that I'm usually too tired to type on a laptop in, for example, if I've been woken up at five, six in the morning, I prefer to write it or scrawl it down in my handwriting and then type it up later when I can think more clearly. But that's really, you know, the digital side of the dream journals. If you have it on a service like Dropbox or OneDrive, you can actually use it on your phone. And this is even better because you can type it up on your laptop and then say if you're out and about and you suddenly get reminded of something from an, a previous dream, you can type the keyword in on your phone and it will bring up all your dream journal entries from the last five, ten years. Um, so this is a really effective way of you know looking back on your dream science. And that's really it guys. That's that's the the third part of this dream journal series. That's how you keep a dream journal. Um, if I think of anything else I'll obviously make another video part four. But for now, just make sure that you actually use it. That's the most important thing. Make sure you actually use your dream journal and you do write your dreams down every morning. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.